Hi guys. Wait for oh no, forgot my drink over there. There it popped up. Hi everyone, how are you doing? I see a few people are already in the chat. Hi Cindy. Hi Paula. Sherry, everybody, welcome to fix this so I can read. Um, top chat, not top chat, the other one, all the messages. There we go. So I can watch it in a couple different spaces. How is everyone? How are we doing? And if Jeff's listening, <laughs> maybe he can bring me my drink. He's downstairs watching TV. Wow. So I could run over and get it. I just filled it up. I just forgot to bring it over. So how are we doing tonight? It has been a long week. Oh, he heard me. Thank you. I'm all right. It's been a long week. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep. All right. See? Cheers. <laughs> Hi, Becky. How are you? Got a few, well, I got a few things done, but um, yeah, you know, just a lot, a lot going on still. So we did, um, I got some stuff um, updated in my booth yesterday. Um, I was starting to wait for, I have an ar arborist, a tree cutter coming to look at a tree and then um, uh they canceled on me yesterday, so I got to come home and wait for them again this afternoon. So, but we got all that said and done, and they're going to come tomorrow and work on the tree. So that's good. That's been something that's been needed to do be done for a while. So, and yeah, I got a little bit of stuff put out in my booth yesterday, and and the rain's been real dreary around here. So I don't know if we even got rain this afternoon. We were supposed to, but um, yeah. So it's nice to have some sunshine. And, um, you know, just trying, just trying to keep going through the next set of boxes and everything like that. Oh, wow. Cleared out your storage locker. That's a lot. I understand. That's a lot. So I worked on three boxes last night in the basement and then um, got some more tagged for going to the booth again. I did ask them if I could um, see about changing up the booth because I thought it might be kind of nice to combine the two booths together, right? You gotta just keep those weird to-do lists, you know, like the really obscure stuff. Like like when January ro rolls around and you have taxes on the list, you know, eventually it'll get done, but uh, those long, long haul lists of things to do. So um, good news is um, mom got several offers over the weekend or yesterday, whatever the case may be, and they have accepted an offer and are under contract on her house. So that's pretty exciting. So um, if all goes well with that, they want to close early July. So that'd be super cool. So yeah, just kind of keep on trucking. That's what we're doing. Hi, Denise. Welcome. So if you're new here, I'm Becky, Vintage Viking Treasures. This is my channel. I do a live sale. I'm trying to be consistent with all the craziness going on around here. Yeah, it is great news. Um, with my mom moving and uh, getting her house on the market um, to stay on those Tuesday nights as a regular thing. I, I know I enjoy it once I'm here. So And it's fun to be able to um, talk to everybody and all that stuff as well. Hi, Veronica. Nice to see you. Oh, yeah, we got to meet up with um, Kristen Ruby this weekend and do a little snooping with her at the Brass Armadillo in Denver. So that was cool. Got her that vase that she's um, that I had set aside for her so we didn't have to ship that. So that's awesome. And yeah, so Ms. Paula, are you willing to help out with some moderating this evening? That would be awesome if you are. I know you're my my trusty sidekick that's always willing and up for it. Hello, Michelle. Welcome. Thanks for joining in tonight. <laughs> she met Paula. Oh, the darn autocorrect. It gets you every time. Gonna be some really interesting things the autocorrect comes up with. So um, as I was looking for things to um, kind of put together, because I was waiting here on Monday 
And I was like, I need to get stuff together to go to the booth. So I printed out a whole bunch of labels looking for things to go to my booth. And I came across some jewelry bags. And I figured, um, as always, I'd love to bring it to you guys first. I'm dropping one for first dibs. So I have, I mean, I have one, two, <laughs> and three. And then I have a couple small ones like this. So, um, hey, Annie Christy, welcome. Good to see you. So that's kind of where I thought it'd be a good place to start. I know the jewelry is um, kind of on a lot of people's radar. It's small, so it's easy to ship. I love that about it. And um, it's, it's a whole mix of all different things. I have pins. I think there's necklaces and bracelets in some of these bags. So I figured I would. Um, the only one I opened first was one like this, and I just cut off the top so I'd have it ready to go to start with so um yeah that's what i figured i'd start with tonight um let's see we will do a um well it's like what do we want to call it find the words the words are i will tell you what the starting price is and if more than one person comes in on it then it turns into an offer up and the two people that have gone in on it can decide who wants to be where in the offer and or tell us that they are out and then my lovely mod in the chat will call it sold and we'll move down the list if only one person throws in the price then it will be a quick claim and we will um count it sold and claimed that way so i feel like i'm slipping out of my chair which i'm really not i think without further ado um we can start up See, I was shipping. There's a couple rolls of uh, bubble wrap over there, but I think I'm all caught up on that for right now. So that's pretty, pretty good too. Because I came home this afternoon and I was like, well, when I was waiting for the second time for the tree service, I'm like, I don't, I did my booth. I printed the labels. So I just kind of chilled out and, and uh, had some, some, just some downtime before we had to do this tonight, before I made some dinner tonight. So all right, there's mom. Hi, Ma. How are you doing tonight? I just told everybody the big news. So, all right. Hi, Linda. Welcome. I should get something that will tell me. I need my ruler where I can have some easily to tell you how big these things are. And um, the first bag that I opened to have ready are pins. So I think that's where we're going to just jump in. And then I might change it up to another bag that's got something else in it that I can see from here, different styles and stuff. So I'm going to put these on so that I can read the back of the pins, see if there's anything really super cool that I need to tell you all about. But um, we're just going to go for it. So this is the first rhinestone pin available. It's all the clear rhinestones, different shapes. Um, from when I was looking at it, I'm pretty sure that they're all there. It'll be a $3 start. And you can see on the back that they are painted like gold color for reflecting. I do not see any mark on it. Here is the rollover clasp right there. Make sure that functions. Definitely does. And this is just about two inches across. It's kind of got a concave to the convex pattern to it. Oh boy, it sparkles pretty good. About yay big. Nice eye patch size. And oh, I had pulled some uh, egg cartons tonight. So I thought it'd be nice and easy to be able to uh, get these things sorted out. As long as I don't tip them over, we'll be good. So we got Cindy at three. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, Bonnie. Welcome. Good to see you. And um, since we have several bags available tonight, let's just see how, how, how we do. And we'll just keep moving. So I have Cindy at three. Cindy B at three on this pin. Follow a counter or call it sold or whatever we want to do. And oh, where'd my scissors go? There they are. 
LaDonna. Hey, how are you doing, LaDonna? It looks like these two small bags are mostly all, well, there's a lot of silver and rhinestone kind of stuff. So the next one, thank you, Paula. I don't know, kind of looks like a branch, a fern, a seaweed, coral. I don't know what we want to go with on this one. It's like a polished, um, it's polished and then the tips are shiny. It has a bit of a waver, just a little bend. Somebody's trying to get that hooked in there. Again, this is, oh, what the news was. Mom can tell you. She's in the chat. Make sure that this is a $3 start also. These big ones I was doing a $3 start on. But it does connect in. I was wondering if it was too short because of that. But here we go. Oh, well, Mom, throw it in the chat. Tell all the people all the news. This is three and a quarter inches long and one and a half inches wide. And if she doesn't put it in there sooner or later, there we go. There we go. There it is. Yep, her house went under contract. Oh, wow. I'm, I don't envy you at all. <laughs> Painting, that is not one of my favorite activities. That is one of those things that I have done enough. Hi, Kathy, welcome. That I will pay someone to paint and or my nieces and nephews, quite frankly, if somebody wants to paint, I will let them do it. So how are you tonight, Miss Kathy? Good to see you. Let's see. I know, right? It's kind of amazing because um, with the housing market and all, we're going to just keep talking and, and offering things as we go. This one's a starfish or a sea star in the silver tone. And um, I mean, that average, I guess they say around here right now for houses to be on the market was like 30 days. So to have, I think she had what, 12, 15 showings in the first weekend. It was pretty cool. And, um, you know, crazy, you know, the crazy, oh, I'll take it for $50,000 off the, off the price. Hey, Caitlin, how are you doing tonight, honey? Good to see you. Love you. That was, yep, Paula's got it. It's about that big. That's nice and uh, summery. Seashell-esque, beachy. Two and a quarter inches is basically, it's basically two and a quarter each direction. So 18 foot ceilings. Oh yeah, definitely hiring that one out. <laughs> yeah. The last time, um, the last time I painted, we did, um, valuation went up. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think there's something like that too. Get ready to paint. No, well, she's not here anymore. So, you know, I had, I drafted them all for, um, for moving mom, but it's kind of hard to draft your kids to come paint your house at this point. So this one is all rhinestones, kind of like a starburst pattern. And it is on a gold tone. The $3 start. This looks older to me because of the rivets. But yeah, the last time we painted here, we did like the, the walkway, the hallway, because we have a tri-level. So it's like the main hallway and upstairs in the hallway and downstairs hallway on the stairs. And I was like, I've never painted so many door jams and um, so much trim ever. And that was enough for me. It was a lot. Go up and over every different step. Yeah. It was like, hmm probably why we didn't do that in the first place. Caitlin was uh, six months old when we moved in here. So we've slowly worked our way through all the rooms to at least renovate them, paint them up once. But um, that's enough. Hi, Miss Patsy. What is the starfish made out of? Well, it is a silver metal. 
and I don't see anything on it. It's just, I think it's a more of a more modern pin. So some of these are older, but I can't tell you what it's made of exactly, but it's got a great little design on it. And I'm not seeing any, that's why I'm, we're in my, uh, my cheaters to see if I can see any marks on it, but I don't see any marks on it at all. I believe it's a newer one. So, yeah, the milit around the military, because we do have, um, I don't know how many we have, five, seven. We have the most military bases in a county in the United States here in Colorado Springs. Oh, it was $3, Miss Patsy. We're doing, I have jewelry bags. So this is what she asked about. Pretty much every, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of going to stick on the same number for a while. So that was the starfish. If you want to claim it, let me know. Yeah, I know. The kids didn't really have any crazy colors in their rooms. Because they were crazy colors to begin with, and we kind of painted them white so that they could have any color combination they wanted. So, all right, I'm going to move on to the next one. I hopefully have answered all the questions on the starfish. Let's see, here's another little um, burst. All right, I got you, Miss Patsy. I'll put you down for that one. Oh, walkout basement. I have a walkout basement, but it's not that grand. All right, Miss Patsy. I got you. Thank you so much. Okay, right, where'd you go? There's a starfish. Perfect. All right, this is a silver um, little burst. Oh, they just sparkle so nicely when it focuses on them. And it also has the riveted connections where the rhinestones are and it's all silver tone the front and the back i don't know if you can see the difference between oh yeah so that's the gold tone versus the still silver tone no miss annie christie we moved mom to a two-bedroom condo this one kind of reminds me of like something nebula out in the stars, outer space kind of swirl. So it's a $3 start as well. I'm going to try this. She has a place that um, uh, several of her friends have been at. Jeff's aunt and uncle live in this bit in this building. It's called the Satellite, which is a kind of a mid-mod. That's when they built it. It's like 12 stories tall and um, faces the front range. So there's all different views of the mountains. So that's pretty kind of fun. Pretty, that's pretty kind of fun. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yep, she went from her uh, five bedroom house to a two bedroom apartment. All right. That was a lot of work, but we're at the end of it. <laughs> I'll be moving in with mom. I I don't even I wouldn't even have my own bedroom at this point. Uh, oh, this one's kind of neat. This is a big one. I didn't tell you the size of that last one. But this has marquees, the swirls, it's a silver background, metal, two loops of the rhinestones. All of them have those solid backs on them this will be a three dollar start yeah this is two and a half by one and a half i'm gonna check the pin keep losing the chat okay there it goes it's a little snug but i got it um it fits in there rolls over nice and tight yeah, there we go. Well, you know, we all like our space. And I have, I mean, I just moved half of mom's house here. I don't know how I can move in with mom. We got to figure out how to get it into some booths and some shows this year and to work on downsizing the rest of it. So I have Miss Patsy on this one. I don't even know what to call it. It's kind of a double loop. 
with a, a swirl at the top. It's real pretty though. Oh, my chat keeps disappearing. How frustrating. Oh yeah. Yep, it is definitely prong set. Well, this one is just catching the light. So nice. I mean, the only thing that would make these better is if they had a little, some other colored stones in them, but this is beautiful. So, all right, I have Miss Patsy for that one. Apollo put it in the chat. Let's see, what does this one do? Make sure the class works. So, yeah. All sorts of new stuff. We had left set today. This one is an oval. The pin is this direction, so that's why I'm holding it this way. It has blue rhinestones, and they look like, like a really small floral, but it almost looks like clover as well. Thank you, Patsy. This one will be a $3 start. It is two inches by one inch. As the rollover right here on the back. This one is much more dainty. And let's see. Oh, it's got something on it. Let's see if we can read it. On the middle of the leaves there. Let's see how close can we get. I don't know if I can read that. I might have to have some super duper cheaters. You see the top of my head while I try and figure it out. Oh, it's a sterling. Something sterling. Right there, the second word is sterling. It's much daintier. So you could wear it this way. And the pin goes this way. <laughs> right? Exactly. These do not fluoresce. Lois says three. That's a great deal on this. Get the little details on the, the petals. They kind of look like a pansy that way. That's a cute one. And it's a great deal being sterling. I don't know if we can get it to focus that close or not. Right there. Something sterling. About that big. A nice one on a lapel. I don't know if you could. I was just thinking you could hang your glasses from it. But I don't know if the silver would be. You know, I know they make those. I just don't know if the silver would be, um, if it'd be too bendy for weight like that. So I'm going to put oval with blue. And we have Lois in at eight. Patsy was in at six. Thank you both. Let's see. Pick what I want to do next. This one's, uh, oh wow, that's strange. Okay. Yes, please, Miss Patsy, let us know if you're out. I have Lois in at eight. And we'll need to. Almost looks like a like a pin at the bottom there. Patsy's out. Awesome. Thank you both. I have Lois at eight. All right. This one is is a conundrum for me. It's an interesting. Now it's got a pin back on it, but I believe somebody added it with a glue gun because I see the glue at the top there. 
here you can see it kind of in between. But the cool thing is these yellow rhinestones fluoresce like a light orange color. I don't think I can get them to show up too much. For some reason, I have um, not been able to find my other my other uh, black light back. So this is a three dollar start. I think it's a newer piece. Either it had a chain on it, like that was a bale, and somebody changed it to a pin. But um, oh yes, I did. And I answered it. Sorry, Miss Patsy. I did. I answered it um, last week, I believe. Sorry. It's a hobbyist back, yeah. But it's got a nice rollover. It is sturdy on there. It is secure. It's all about the weight, Miss Patsy, for the shipping. Oh, there you go. You can see it now. It's far enough back. This one is um, three and a quarter inches by two inches. So like if I have, basically it's if I have like a three to four pound package, when I add, you know, if I even double the weight, it's only four or $5 more. But if I do a second package of the same weight that it's it's like you start over again so that's why i tried to explain it's hard to explain in an email too i apologize it's kind of hard to, to get all those um nuances explained correctly so i apologize if it wasn't clear enough i tried to tried to clear it up when i answered you okay no worries this is a new piece that says um, brass bangle and it has like the starry night. Um, I don't know why, what you want to say. It's, it's, it's not painted. It's applied to the bangle and it has a starry night that goes around. This will be a $6 start. It is, it's pretty wide for a bangle. It's an inch and a half wide. And the opening is two and five eighths. Enamel, yeah, it's kind of like that. Thank you, Melinda. It's like the stuff that they've been able to put, you know, like the pictures on for a pin and stuff. I don't know how they do it, but you can see the church. And the whole, man, it's really shiny. It's got me reflected in it all the way around. I am not a big bracelet person, but that's about, and I have a big wrist. It has a little bit of loose. Oh, now we're stuck. Oh, that's why I don't like bangles. <laughs> but it's got the brass finish, so it's kind of that gold um, colorway on the inside. But it's a new piece because it did have um, had a plastic around it. It says made in India with a part number. So, all right, we got Patsy in at six on that one. I will include this just so you know what the, what it is. And I, I know, Paula, that's, you know, I don't want to be stuck in the bracelet all night. That would drive me crazy. Let's see. Bangle. Perfect. I'm going to put that on this side so it doesn't fall out. All right. I have, let's see. Should we try a new bag? I have a few more pins. Or I'll just show them quick as we go. I kind of want to do them all so I don't miss them. There's another all see they're all white rhinestones we can just do a choice they're three dollars start so this one kind of looks like it's a ribbon with that um the safety clasp let's see open it up and it'll work that way it is about 
two inches across. That would be good on a scarf because it's got lots of room for like, say some fabric or something behind it. And then this would be the other choice and it is all rhinestones. Let's see. Boy, it reflects all those colors fun. I'm gonna look for the prongs quick. I, yes, it is prong set in the middle here. Boy, between all those sparkles, it's hard to see it, but it also has a big rollover clasp. Opens, closes, locks back up again. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm not seeing... Uh, nope, I don't think I'm seeing... I don't think I am seeing any... Nope, no mark on the inside. So this was the choice. They're just both the same size, I believe. Yep, just a little over two inches, and this one is just about two inches. Just a smidge bigger than the other. Boy, they could be some statement earrings, couldn't they? I see Lois at three. Hey, Midge. Wonderful. I'm glad you got it. Thanks for your patience while um, we're finishing up mom. All of mom's estate sale and everything for me to get that in the mail. Lois Egan. And you can just tell me which one you want, Miss Lois. The ribbon or the rhinestone. As I'm not seeing anybody else jumping on that. Look, I match. Imagine that. It's not like I like teal or anything. Yeah, I got this will work well for doing the uh, um a couple choices. It'll get us through a little bit faster too. All right, I have three dollars for Miss Lois. Tell me ribbon or rhinestone or both, whichever you prefer. Maybe a okay, she's taking the ribbon. If anybody else wants this one, put rhinestone in the chat. Thank you, Miss Lois. Put that there. Put it next to your other one. These two are a little bit different from each other, but I'll put them up as a choice. This one has like the um, antiqued silver look to it. Thank you, Lois. Good night, Michelle. Thanks for hanging in there. Good to see you. This one is two, one, two and a half inches across. I'm not seeing anything on the back. Actually, it's take both. Perfect. Times two for Lewis. I'll just write on this one too. Got it. So this one is the first offering, and this one is this voice. Now this one looks awful strange. It's almost like a mirror back, but it's got a tie tack to it, and it has a con convex cabochon that's super clear, and then it looks like a mirror that has turned everything upside down, and it gives you that totally. Um, optical illusion of where the glass and the camera are on that so two different ones very different from each other this one's two and a half inches and this one is just about an inch and a quarter this one would have been neat to put like a an eyeball or something like that printed behind it because then it would um turn over that image and change it up. But it is definitely a newer piece and I believe that one is plastic. So there's those two as choice. This one's kind of a wreath. Rhinestones again. They are definitely not prong set. And then some um, faux pearls that are like a 
a marquee kind of shape to it. All right. This will be choice. Wow, the lag is a little bit of something on here this time. Cindy is out. We have Romola in at four. Thank you so much. So we can call it for Romola. The wreath or what do we want to call this? We call this the mirror. It's kind of got a little bubble. You can kind of see it. Oh, where was it? Well, now I'm not seeing it. Maybe it's just a reflection way down in there. I think it is. It's a reflection of my light from the ceiling. Thank you. Ramola takes both. Thank you so much, Ramola. Four times two, wreath and mirror. Perfect. That wreath is a little bit big for my cart. A little egg carton. All right, this is the last choice, and then we'll open up another bag. I have a pinwheel style and another rhinestone kind of starburst. $3 start for choice. This one does have a mark on it. Oh, so let's see. I'm going to need some stronger. I don't think I have. Do I have something else to do? Let's try this. Oh, oh for non-tired younger eyes. I don't know what it is. It's a little bit of a pale gold color metal. And there is the mark right here. Let's see if we can get that to come up. Three dollar choice. Sarah. So is there a Coventry? I don't know. Is there something? And then this one is a silver tone. Both have the rollover clasp. Make sure they're both functional. Yep, that one's working. These ones are set in. This is kind of like the... Um, like when they set a diamond chip, so it looks a little bit more brushed. So it um, makes the rhinestone look a little bit bigger. And there's the back of that one. Kind of a zigzag pattern in it. Here is the front. I'm going to, again, check the, the rollover. Yep. It works. It's a little bit snug. Getting it turned back around. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it works, but it's a little, it's snug. And there is that one. Well, hi, Steph. How are you doing? Good to see you. So this pinwheel is two and a quarter, and then this open one is two inches by an inch and a half. And I'm going to look one more time and see. I'm going to be like, be like Miss, uh, oh my goodness, Trisha. I don't know if I can see that at all. How strange magnifying glasses are. Sarah Cove. Yep, that's a Sarah Coventry. You are correct. Bring it back up here, see if we can see that. There it is. All right. Well, we have Lois in at three on the choice there. Everybody's saying hi to Steph. I know I have been so out of it for um, going and watching anybody else on YouTube. I've been trying to catch up on some of the videos and stuff, but it has been hard just trying to catch up on some sleep and then uh, all the things. So I'm working my way on some of the back stuff to catch up with what's going on with everybody. So, And I am scheduled to be on Miss 
Mm, Trisha's channel this Sunday. Wowzers. My brain and my head. Saturday night. I am going to be on Trisha's on Sandy and Auto on Saturday night. It's been a couple months. We're trying to figure out a way to um, just with the schedule to make it work. And we found we found a June date that works. So I will be on there. Be on there late. Um, that's Sandy and Auto. Yeah. All right, Miss Lois, what would you like? Starburst or the frame? I don't know what we want to call this. And you have, where have you at three? And then we'll open up a new bag. We'll see. I think I'll go towards this one with some necklaces in it. She's taken both. Thank you so much. Perfect. Appreciate it. All right. Let's. I'm not even going to really try to get into this other than um, taking the scissors to it because they have taped the dickens out of it. Thank you, Miss Lois. Let's see. Oh, goodness. All right. We got it. Oh man, there's some big things in here. I'll get something untangled and we'll start with that. Let's see. Well, there's a watch. I'm not seeing it work. And I don't hear anything. Stainless steel. Geneva. Has anybody seen Geneva yet tonight? Geneva, stainless steel, but it looks like it needs a new battery. Got a black face with the stainless steel numbers, would need to have a new battery, but um, it's all nice. There she is. See, do you need a watch with your name on it? Boy, everything's shiny tonight. There it is, platinum. $3 start. And it says right there on the back, stainless steel, Geneva, Platinum edition. So good to see you. Are you guys finally getting out from under all your snow and everything? We've been getting so much rain, it's ridiculous. No, no, you don't want that one. It looks like they put all the watches that didn't work in my bag. But that's all right. This one, oh, this one, um, Next up, okay, snake warning, reptile, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's got like an alligator around the watch face. Oh, Lois is in at three. Which one do you, the new one or Geneva? Miss Lois. Oh, it's been hot. We haven't hit 70 degrees yet, practically here. You haven't had rain? Oh, my goodness. We have had rain for almost since, solid since last Thursday. Plus, two weeks ago when we had the estate sale, it was like three, four days of it. So, Miss Lois, I'm sure, I'm just want to double check. You want the Geneva one? Got it. Perfect. Thank you. And we'll go back to this one. It's rocking back and forth. All right. There we go. Perfect. This band, like, comes through. Wow, it's been in the 90s. That's crazy. So it's got, this is a $3 start. Again, it's not moving. Oh, let's see if we can get it so you can see the, see the face. It's not ticking, but look, it's got a little snake. Oh my goodness. As a, um, as the hands of the watch too. And it's got the alligator and the snakes. It's newer. It says genuine leather on the band through there, but it would be the, um, the uh, risk would be whether it can be a new battery could be put in it. The quartz movement. I mean, I am not a big fan of all that stuff, but 
that's kind of fun. That's different. I don't like snakes. Before everybody, anybody uh, gets the wrong idea there. We'll put it aside. So this one looks like it is in ill repair. So that'll go in my whatnot broken jewelry for crafting bin eventually. No. Looks like we got watches a lot in this bag. Oh, goodness sakes. Now I have a big chunk of dry skin that wants to not cooperate. There we go. This one's got a pretty scratched face to it. You can see like going over to three o'clock there, it's got a big scratch on the face. So stretchy band, it says S-K-A-G-E-N, active, Skagen, Skagen, but no ticking. And let's see if we can move the, yeah. I can move the hands, but put that to the side. Oh, that is, oh, is it going to come out? It is. I have a faux turquoise pendant necklace on silver. It's like a teardrop, and it is two and a quarter inches long. a lobster claw and an extension so you can wear it a little bit shorter or longer this is but it's got a long drop to it the chain itself right to the top of the pendant is 18 inches and then the pendant is all, just about two inches as well oh that's a good nurse watch awesome but it is a faux turquoise and it's got like a rose bead and another turquoise kind of bead at the top so this would be $3 for turquoise. Oh, what is this? I got a bag and a bag. Oh, these are button covers. This is a whole set. Oh, this is so 80s, 90s. That's crazy. Do you guys remember button covers? Let's do $5 for this set, please, Miss Paula. This has the barrette and the bronze look with the hearts and a bow. It's that big barrette that has the tension with the, you know, the, the 90s barrettes. That works well. And then it has the set of earrings that match. And these are pretty big, big hearts about an inch and a quarter by an inch and a quarter and then it has four matching button covers with the same heart remember those they flip up and you put them over your button and then made any shirt turn into something with coordinating jewelry it's kind of fun very 90s late 80s fashion I remember these. So I'm going to put this back in the in the bag. So it's four button covers, two earrings, and a barrette in that whole set for five dollars. Oh man, more watches. This one's a Liz Claiborne. Oh, Delaney. That's Delaney. Oh man, I look like I'm wearing like I have handcuffs when I put these on. I got you, Miss Delaney, for the set. Thank you. Perfect. I know I can't barely bend my wrist with this this Bengal um, bracelet watch, whatever you want to call it, because it's so wide. Look at the cuff on that. That is an inch and a half wide. It opens up and it's like a square. 
Um, it is a watch. The three dollar start. I'm not hearing any ticking. Let's see if we can move the hands. Yep, we can get the hands moving. So we know that part works. That's a really cute set. And it says Liz Claiborne. I don't need that word under that. Oh, it's got a number. So. Oh, I'm doing all right, Miss Delaney. I'm here <laughs> working through it. And it says Liz Claiborne right here underneath. The reflection is killing me tonight. So it's all square. It's a square bangle with a square face. I mean, it's kind of retro there too. Let's see if we can get something else that's a little different out of here. Oh, it's decided to be tangled. It's like Disney. Speaking of which, Stephen and I have been trying to talking about doing a Disney theme sale for a while. Okay. This has an extension on it, which is three inches long. This is a necklace. We can probably do um, $2 start on these necklaces, please, Miss Paula. 14 inches on the chain, and then the whole part dangles to about 17 and a half inches. It's like a little globe sphere with white painted like floral with rhinestones in it. It looks like it would open, but I don't think it does. I think that's just how they made it. And then it's got this little tassel that's like a faux um, leather or um, suede. But the sphere is about an inch and a half across. It's a big size. The statement necklace. And it is on a gold tone jewelry. I'm not seeing, no, I'm not seeing any maker's mark on that one. Oh, Lois was on the watch. All right. I was like, that was weird. It totally jumped for me. Didn't see it. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Lois. Lois watch. Got it. Perfect. All right, let's set that one aside. What else we got in here? This one's full of beads. Let's see if it has. Um, this must have been on some. Oh, <laughs> Lois, we must have a lag. We must have a lag. We're on this one. I'm going to take a drink for the lag. Cheers. Got it. Take, put some sticky notes out while we're waiting. We can call that one for Miss Lois. I would do choices, but I can't get them untangled fast enough for that to work. Perfect. Thank you, Lois. Right. Got. It. All right. Now, this is a beaded multi strand necklace. They're kind of browns, coppers, like seed beads. But it must be on like some nylon threading. Because it's been in with being in squished in a bag, it's kind of got some kinks to it. <laughs> Let's see. So two dollars start on this one, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten strands. It does have a little extender that's about three inches, and the drop on the beads is ten inches. So if even if these didn't lay back down again. 
they'd make great beads for uh, making something else or embellishing a shirt or something like that, some sort of clothing. They do have kind of an iridized finish to some of those seed beads or the, the longer tube beads are kind of the shiny ones where the blue and the green are reflecting. So, all right, let me set it down and try and entangle something else. Well, that's something. I have a, see a couple more watches. Wow. Three, four more watches. That's crazy. That's a big one. How about this one? The 90s style color fish. It's enamel coloring. Like they've put in in the outlines. Is he missing some color? No, it's just white there. This will be a three dollar start on the pin. About this big gold background. Um two and a half by one and a half as the rollover pin safety clasp. Let's see, and this is what the back looks like. I don't see any maker's mark on that one. I see Romola, three. Thank you, Paula. So, Cindy, if you want to be four or higher. There we go. Yeah, that definitely reminds me of those bright peacock kind of colors from the 90s as well. Retro in and of itself. Fish pin. My hands are so dry from all the packing and everything. But maybe that'll help. All this says five. So it's got green, blue, purple, and red. The colors I'm seeing on it. Looks like it's got purple tips on all those angel kind of fins. Cindy says six. All right, I'll work on getting something else untangled. Wow, heavy. Oh, yay, another watch. This one's broken, though. The band is broken. Let's see if that's something that can go back together. Last call. Ramola is out. Cindy is in. All right, thank you so much. Cindy B is at six. Perfect. I believe that is, yep, that's the news. Put those next to each other. This one, where'd it go? Where'd that watch go? I just literally set it down. There it is. It's got like the elastic band, but one of them has popped here. Not where it's supposed to. And I don't know if we can get that hooked back together or not. So I'd have to work on that a little bit. Again, no ticking. So I'll work on that one and see if we can make that a viable one. Um, we have teal. Oh, it looks very turquoise. This is a teal set of Plastic beads. There's the class. Two dollar start, and it has these flat discs, kind of donut shaped, in between the graduated beads. It is an eight and a half inch drop. So yeah, we we are firmly in the nineties. So let's see. Does it kind of coordinate? Coordinates a little bit with those bright colors of that fish. is what it looks like lightweight because of the plastic beads and it is strung on like a well it's either a cotton thread yeah it looks like a thread versus a nylon because it's not like 
crimping and getting a bend into it. Let's see if this one will cooperate. Well, this one's different. Let's see. This one's heavy, but it's because it's multi strand. Okay. It says something on it. Anybody recognize this as a logo? I'm not seeing it. This is the necklace then. So it's got three strands of these giant blue beads and then a metal addition on the back. Oh yeah. You can't see it, but it hangs nicely right in a, it's going to be too hard to go right back over my nose, right in a neckline. So this is a $3 start. These big giant beads are like kind of a, a little bit of a transparent blue, and the other ones are more of a navy color. They're showing up much more royal purple, royal blue but they are a little bit darker navy. The drop on this is ooh, 15 inches, 13 and 11 looks like basically on the triple strand. If you were to repurpose those, those are some big beads. Imagine those as earrings. So it's got plastic and they're all the same size they are not graduated and I don't recognize this if it is a logo of some sort if not let me do a quick oh there we go Nope, I'm not seeing any words on it, unless it's almost looks like a double B, like a B forward and a B backwards. But I don't know what that would be. Too many Bs. Okay. Paul is all over the chat. <laughs> this one has one of those um, glass pendants. It's curled over. It is on built. Oh, that's a good suggestion there, Carol. Thank you. It's on a red um, strand and uh, organza ribbon necklace. So it's like red, black, and silver. I do believe the majority of these are mass produced, but they are a fun glass piece nonetheless. The pendant itself is two and a half inches and the drop of the whole necklace would be 11 to the end of the pendant and this would be a three dollar start and the strands are a little bit lighter like um muted red than the the ribbon is and yes hi carol how are you doing how's it been treating you lately There's a size of that. This does have a little bit of an opening where it is not closed. So this ribbon is sneaking out. Let me see if I can put it back in there. When you're wearing it, the weight of the pendant itself would keep it in there. But it is not closed all the way right there. Let's see. And no, no fluorescing. Yes, totally tired of the rain. I understand, Carol. I am also tired of the rain. We had a lot. We had we had a pretty sunshiny day here today, so that was nice. Okay, I think I have another Sarah Coventry pin. I don't have. Oh, I do. I have two pins. Let's let's do a choice pin. Look at that. 
This is a silver tone saxophone. These will start at $3 choice. It's got the rollover safety clasp. Put it back in there. This thing is big. This is a big size. It is five inches by two and a half, almost three. Get back in there. And the other choice is a gold tone. There we go. Get in there, stay in there. Got it. This has a little bit of flex in it. It's a little bit lighter weight metal. And this is a gold tone. I don't know. Almost looks like a sun in a way. And it says here on the back, Sarah Cub again, I believe. And the pin goes this direction, so you could wear it that way. And it has like um, a polished kind of look. Oh my goodness. In the middle. And then the the rays or whatever these are on the outside are a little bit more shiny. So those are the two choices. I say Romola at three. Let's see, here's the back side of this pin. Kind of looks like they did like a beaded chain to outline that to give it some detail. And there's a couple keys in there. That's super cute. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind the rain because it's not. Yeah, because we're not in wildfire season. That's great. But I don't. I'm, I'm just tired of it. I'm ready for some sunshine. It's June and it's barely been 70. I had to go back to wearing jeans and my winter jacket last week. So, all right, Ramola. Well, she's counting you down and you can tell us what you would like for your choice. The saxophone, the sun, both. She's taking both. Perfect, thank you so much. You got some big statement pieces. I feel like when I put that necklace on, now I'm like, something is on my neck. All right. Here's another watch. <clears throat> it says studio. And it is a quartz piece. It has a yellow and white zebra looking band. Now you can tell I can move the hands. Right? They're so green. So green. Made in China. Base metal. Belize. B-E-Z-E-L. And a stainless steel back. So it, it has a hinge here and a hinge here. I don't know if I can coordinate that. But it does not, is not running. And would need a battery. So this would be the zebra band watch. And it is a silver background. Silver background. Looks a little more gold, but I think it's just reflecting that yellow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you wanna watch, I got a few watches. This one is fun. This has links. The quartz movement again. I'll show you that it moves. But, yep, no running. But this has hearts, like um, a bracelet style band to it. And it has a, that safety clasp right there. It is a gold tone. And the hearts are directed each each um, opposite directions. So um, they go, you know what I mean. So they're kind of right side up each direction. That would be a $3 start as well. 
trying to keep Paula on her toes with all the watches here. Yeah, and this one, the band is not. The band has come apart on this one. So we're going to pass on that one as well. Okay. To see how this one goes. This looks like it's just a, like a leather cord to a gold chain to a big drop that is, that's all in, the metal is wrapped around it to make a pendant. This would be a $2 start. Without the pendant, it is 18 inches long. Put an oval chain to it. And right to here is 18 inches, and then the pendant is about two more inches. It doesn't, well, it's got a, what do you call it, a texture to the banding around. There we can see it. That goes all the way around the pendant piece. Oh, yeah, totally. They could be. I just, if the band isn't good, I don't want to even offer it here, though. But yeah, that's why I'll save it for like the craft jar. Let's see. Some of these are. I have to figure out which direction they go. Let's see. This one will go right to there. This is a double strand, about a nine inch drop with a little extender on it. But it is heavy. It's all different rhinestones and um, well, they're all rhinestones. So they look like, like a half of a sphere and on silver on that side. And then they have the rhinestone on the other side. But they are quite heavy. They're different sizes. And there's two rows. That makes sense. This one feels a little bit more new. It has a design on the back side of the rhinestones. But I don't see any sort of marking as to who made this one. Yeah, that one. Magnifying glass. Oh, Lois is at two. All right. Thank you, Lois. Let me take a peek at this one. Oh. Yeah, it says something. I don't know what it says. All right, Miss Lois. Which one were you on? The leather? Or the rhinestone. It looks like you were in after this one with the leather and the gold. But I want to make sure since I started describing a second one that was the same price point. A nice one just goes right over the head, nice and long. <clears throat> I try and be quick, and that's what I get. Is oh, she's going for the rhinestones. I got it. There you go. Thank you, Miss Lois. Perfect. Got it. Now this one is on a gold chain. There is the clasp. There's something on it. I'm going to need to get me a better magnifying glass or something. And the pendant is this geometric shape. What I don't know 
nope, it doesn't come off. I thought it might have been one of those ones you could like change the colorway, but it doesn't. And it says something right there. Already written on my hand, I see. Is that Avon? I don't know. This will be a $2 start. It is a 10 and a half inch drop. I don't know if I could do both of these and it could help me out or not. Oh, it's Trafari. Yes, now I can read it. T-R-I-F-A-R-I. -I, Trafari. Here it is. It is a Trafari necklace. And I know there is a special name. I don't know what for the shape. Rhomboid, something like that. That is an 18 inch drop right in there. We have Delaney in it too. Thank you. Okay, I'll count you down on that one. I know I had Delaney for something else. There it is. Put them next to each other to start with. It'll be easier for later. So I thought, no, that's not on anything. Okay. This is an interesting chain. It's a silver base. They're like bars that are almost, oh, they're five-eighths of an inch long to create this chain. And this pendant with the faux turquoise hangs on it. The whole thing is a 16-inch drop to the bottom of the pendant. And it says, oh, we're going to try this trick again. Says Smith White. No, it says Whiting Davis. Um, sure, Lois. This one, the black and the gold. I'll put you down for that. So that says Whiting Davis. This will be a three dollar start. The nice design on those chain links and there is front and the back of the pendant kind of a all oh, between southwest and aztec kind of look to it i'd say well let's tell you what they say around here if it's if it's it looks like faux turquoise if it's not send it back if it's real turquoise you can just send it back to me. <laughs> All right. Lewis with the black and gold. Got you for that. Thank you, Lois. I thought it was a good brand. And that's what I'm wondering is if it's really hard to tell because of how they're glued in there because they almost look like they have an enamel or a clear coat over the turquoise. And it, I mean it, this one's a little bit bigger, like sticks up with a little bit different shape. They are kind of natural looking in terms of their shape, but I can neither confirm nor deny other than it's supposed to be a great brand. necklace all right we have Ramola at three thank you Ramola appreciate it find your pile over here That's Cindy there you are perfect 
Okay. I think the last thing that came in this bag, I mean, this is a little, this must have been on something else. Looks like a pendant, but I'll put that in the crafting pile. The last thing that came in this bag was a rhinestone dangly pin. Almost looks like it would be like a on a shoe, but it looks much more like a like a lapel style. They're all rhinestone set, three dollars start. Excuse me, prong set. They are rhinestones. Duh. Has the rollover class. And I don't see anything else on the back side of that. But nice movement for all the pieces. This big. It is one and three quarter inches wide and one and three quarter, wait, say that again, one, two, two and three quarter inches long. They sure are sparkly. Be nice under a name tag. Give it a little pizzazz. All right. I'm going to set these to the side. Let's see. So I have more pins. Well, I can't even say that. This has got pins and necklaces in it. And that's about what this one has in it. So same, same kind of stuff. We'll just open the next one. And see where it takes us. Oh, Lois is going to be in on that. On that pin. Thank you, Lois. And stone dangle. Perfect. Thank you again. All right. It might take a little bit for some untangling. Oh, and there's some loose pieces. <laughs> there's a pearl and an earring back. Put those over here. We'll have to chase them around everywhere. And move this out of the way. Oh, some fun pins. This one's patriotic. And make sure that it works. It's got red, white, and blue enamel stars. Yep, it's got the rollover back on it. Let's see. This would be $3 start. Silver background. Does that have a mark? Well, it looks like a T and an F, but we'll see. You can see that right there in the middle of that star, right here. It says TF. Is that Tafari? Is that another way that they um, do their logo or their brand name? About this big. Patriotic, 4th of July coming up. Two inches by just about two inches each direction here. And that's the back side. See what we can get untangled. This one. Another watch. Surprise, surprise. Do I still have the silver tone brooch pen? I'll take it and the silver. Okay, um, Ramola, I might have to, let's see, the silver tone brooch pen, I'll take it on the silver tone. Are you talking about these two? This one was silver and this one was gold uh, metal backing. If that's what you're talking about, let me know. 
Because all I have, otherwise, pen wise, I only have a pineapple and like this branch or whatever this leaf thing was. The silver one. This one. That's a neat one. I like that a lot. That's pretty. All right. Thank you, Ramola. This reminds me of like fireworks, New Year's Eve. It's fancy. And the branch. Oh, okay. And this one, the branch. Got it. Branch and what you call it? The first. Three times two. For Ramola. I'm glad I found these bags. They've kind of been hidden. And it works well for, um, works well to show you guys. I'm a little hesitant to put jewelry in my booth because it's so small that um, I, I, it makes me wonder if people would put it in their purse or in their pocket or something like that, or just put the pin on and walk away, you know? Okay, come on. Or I have a necklace that doesn't want to come out of the pin. There we go. Let's see. Oh, there were some pin bags. Oh, here. Oh, wow. What's this? I don't know what that is. It's a little um, bouquet of rhinestones. It's a gold tone with those bright yellow rhinestones. They do not fluoresce. No, they do not. Looks like a little, um, something is just itching me right there tonight. It's kind of like a little bouquet. It reminds me of those little bitty dried flowers that they used to do. Two inches long by about an inch wide. Has the rollover safety clasp on the back. This one is a $3 start, is what we've been doing with most of the pins, Delaney. If you're interested, it's like a little filigree. Look, I wrote on myself already tonight. A little filigree flower that's bent around it there. All right, cool. Thank you. Tell you what, these are keeping in the heat right on my face. But I can see really good. And we're making out these marks. <laughs> but it is keeping the heat right on my face. All right. I'm going to turn this up. There we go. All right. This is the yellow. Okay. In. Perfect. Thank you, Delaney. Got you. Let's do these two as a choice. Hopefully I won't stab myself. There is a snowflake that's wired with some different colored rhinestones. $3 start choice. Put it, put this pin in here to start with. There we go. And I'm not seeing any marks on that. And then the choice would be between that and this one, which has all different squiggly lines with those um, same kind of bright color rhinestone as well. Here is the pin back. One of these bags, um, somebody put a note on it said contains sharp objects. I was like, really? Good to know, but thank you. And they're both silver toned. Let's see. Um, nope, nothing reacts to the black light. This reminds me of the 90s again. This is a crazy snowflake. I know, right? Party. Oh, excuse me. 
Okay. Oh, well, that's interesting. That one's broken. That's too bad. Let's see if anybody wants you anyway. All right, Miss Lois, which one would you like? The snowflake? Or the other one? Or both? Let's see, they're about yay big, which is two inches and just about two inches. They're both about the same size. The snowflake's a smidge bigger. And I'm gonna have to untangle some more. She's taking both, thank you. Right there. Those egg cartons are working kind of nice for these little pieces, and they don't run away. Okay. Oh, no. That one is tangled. All right, we'll do another choice. This one is scratched right here in the middle, and I believe it was supposed to have a flower stem. So we can start these at two because this one's a little is really lightweight and really thin. And it has like all the different it's like a pressed metal with um, the green, yellow and red colors on it, like painted on it. It's not really like an enamel. It's a little bit messy. You can kind of see it goes over the edge like that. But these are both pretty big size. We'll do a two dollar start on choice on these. The leaf is two and a half by two and a half super lightweight and the floral you could probably judge that up and repaint it or I don't know if this you can't tell that it's missing its leaf or its stem but it has two layers of the petals and it is almost three inches across but I'd be willing to start those at two because of the condition on this one. Delaney is in at two. Thank you, Delaney. Okay. Lois says she's out. Should have put more of these sticky notes out. They are hard to do with one hand. Okay, Delaney, which one did you want? The flower or the leaf or both? She's taking the flower. So um, Lois, would you like the leaf then for two? Let me know, and I will put your name on it. Put it to the side. That's super lightweight. It's not even an ounce. Oh, we got some necklaces in this one, too. All right. Thank you, Lois. See, and as soon as you try and get them untangled, there we go. There's something on the mark on this. Let's see what we got. I can't read it. You can do a choice necklace. There's a mark on the back. This is a little bit got some oxidation to it. Wow, it's actually way more oxidized than I realized. Ooh, the whole chain is kind of green. I'm just going to take that away. That's kind of gross. Never mind. Yeah. Unless somebody really wants it, it'd be two bucks. That oxidized chain, though, is kind of icky. This is Mark. This is, I'm assuming, one of like the. Kind of like the Catholic pendants. It says Mark on a silver chain. This would be two dollars. Is there a there is not a clasp to it at all? And it is a 12 and a half inch drop. It's 
So Mark would be $2. Oh my, we've got some abstract looking stuff in here. Okay. And the tag is on everything else. Okay, that doesn't belong. We have one of a kind of ear. Oh, we got some earrings that look like um, from that lady's house that I had all those 80s, 90s earrings from. Wonder if we have some to make a pair here or not. That would be cool. All right. Well, we have Paula in is in first, and then Lois says two. So Lois, do you want to be three? Was a Santa? Good Paula in first. And I don't know. I haven't seen have you seen? No worries. Have you seen, uh, who am I trying to say? Sandy? She been in tonight? She usually backs us up. All right. Paul is in for Mark. And I'll throw it in there. Thank you, Lois. Just takes forever on my tablet. Oh, you haven't seen her tonight either? Huh. Well, you know, things happen. Stuff comes up. I know that better than anybody else. It's another watch. This would be a two. Uh, what are we, where are we starting those at? Three? Thank you. In, I can't read that, but it's got a gold tone like bracelet with the rhinestones, kind of the jewel tone rhinestones. Again, no ticking involved, but I can move the hands. I wonder where all these watches came from. Boy. All right, same thing. I have a black band and a white band. If anyone is interested in more information on those, throw that in the chat. Try and get all these earrings separated out. But some of those are fun. Again, another silver and gold tone watch that's like a bracelet. Any of those start at $3. This one's pretty chunky, but it's a little bit more worn. And it is heavy. I didn't realize there were so many. Like I said, watches. And... All right, here's another choice. We have a Santa or Christmas tree. Those would be $3 choice. The Santa is the newer one, kind of like a resin. And it looks like somebody might have fixed his or reattached his pin, but it is nice and secure now. He's about this big, which is two and a half inches tall. The Christmas tree is a gold tone, looks kind of like ivy with red rhinestone berries. And that one is. Two and a half by one and a half as the rollover clasp. Make sure we got that one to work. Yep, yep, we do. I'll put these in with some Christmas stuff. Oh, looks like we're missing one red rhinestone right there. Actually, two. One up here is missing. So. That one needs a little repair unless I can find some random rhinestones floating around in the bottom of this bag pile. There we go. No. Let's 
is one of those coil um, bracelets. They're silver tone rose beads. This would be $2 start. It does have a dangling charm on this end. Looks like a, is that a Mother Mary charm. Oh, well, that would make sense, like a rosary. But these feel lighter weight than, say, necessarily a metal. They might be a metal and and something else combination because they're very lightweight. That would be a three dollar bracelet. Unless I said two earlier and I have totally oh that's where those go. I found where the rhinestones go. They're missing off of this pen. I only see two though. That could be why why it got put in a bag of jewelry. So I'm gonna find a little baggie. One, two put these pieces together. Where'd it go? This one right here. If I run across one more pearl, we'll add it to that one. Where's that? Now I found a rhinestone. Somebody must have shook these bags up really well. So. Oh, there's a little itty bitty pendant. All right, the pins are what come out easiest, but I was trying to do something else, <laughs> break up the monotony of the pins, but this says the necklace, N-A-K-A-M-N-O-L, knock Nakanol, no, N A K A N O L. M O L. Okay, Cindy. The charm says, and here's the necklace. So it comes down and then it has a dangle that runs down to this, um, like an opal looking or quartz looking pendant and it totally the total drop is 17 inches so this would be a two dollar one and i'm going to set this aside for cindy thank you cindy write two on it because I said it I said it differently. Cindy is perfect. Thank you, Cindy. There's what that little man I'm writing all over myself today. We got Delenia two. So why I usually use a pencil. And I go get ink all over my hands. They're kind of in the beiges and browns of the beading, off-white, some faceted ones, a couple turquoise that kind of coordinate then with that drop. All right. Thank you, Delaney. I got you. All right. Let's do another choice on the pins because that was what I have untangled. I have this, I don't know, Shazam. <laughs> kind of looking uh, abstract pin. It's got the rollover on the back. $3 choice start. I'm not seeing any <clears throat> logos on there. And then I have a star that's kind of like that snowflake with the twirled around wire, rhinestones, and other little stars. Again, has that rollover there. And I'm not, don't see any, nope, don't see any marks on that one. They're both silver tone. 
our bigger size. This one is two and a half by two. And the star is, let's see, it's widest is two and a half by two and a half. It's just a little bit bigger. <laughs> Thanks, Paula. You know, at least we know what we're all talking about that way. So we have Cindy B in at three. And... Miss Cindy, you can tell me which one you want. Star, this crazy geometric Shazam, or both. And that one's got stars, rhinestones, and blue rhinestones. And then this one is just geometric with a little bit of texture in it. She's taking the star. Thank you so much. If anybody wants this one, just put Shazam in the uh, in the chat. Okay. Let's see. I think I've found a few of these pairs of earrings. I want to put some sticky notes out with two hands, but they're still not cooperating. There we go. There. Got it. It's at the end of it, but I have to go off. So I have a choice. Let's just, I think I used to offer these at $2 a piece. So I have the green hoops. They're a metal hoop with a green enamel paint. About yay big. Or I have the green kind of textured turned hoop. I have both of those. And they are about yay big. So this one is just a little bit shorter. It's got the turned to it. They're both metal with the paint on them for pierced earrings. Lois has taken Shazam. Thank you, Lois. Perfect. All right. Got it. So this one's kind of got a mottled or kind of marbled look to it. And this one is just plain emerald green. Let's see if I can find another. Here are red ones, the same shape as the green. These will all be $2 choice. You can just put what color you want in. Um, is there one for that? These ones are a heavier metal, a thicker metal, and a fuchsia in the hoop. One is missing the earring back. That one is, but I might find it yet. You never know. But they're a little bit smaller hoop in the fuchsia. They're a little bit heavier because they're thicker. Um, here is a navy, a navy with kind of a pattern to it. I believe what you're seeing. Let's see. Saw the white there. Okay, Patsy takes a red. Thank you, Patsy. Trying to see if it's missing paint or it got something stuck on it. Well, I think it might be missing paint, but you're seeing it. It's showing up way more than it does. So those are navy. They're about that big. They are more of an oval shaped hoop. I'm taking these for Patsy. Red hoops. Thank you so much. That's over there. Perfect. Um, these are kind of neat. They are gold with like a filigree kind of cutout. 
and a black enamel, a black paint accent. They're cut out in two different spots, actually three, towards the top, in the middle, and at the bottom. They are that circular hoop, and they are about yay big. They're a little bit smaller. So here's the green hoops. A little bit smaller than the green and the red. Yeah, they have black accents with the gold. These, oh, here we go. These might match the fish a little bit tin that we had earlier. Let's see. We have that Cindy. These are kind of the same colors as that fish pin you got earlier. Gold background with um, a little bit of texture. So it's red, blue, and green. And here is that fish pin earlier. Very similar colorway. Those are $2. They are a little bit smaller. Just about an inch, just over an inch. And this one doesn't have a mate. That one doesn't have a mate. That one doesn't have a mate. So I think those are the only ones that I can offer because the other ones are missing the other half to them. Yeah, I understand that. Totally understand that, Cindy. Oh, wow, this ears. My ears are sensitive too. That's why I just wear these little posts. Otherwise, they they complain at me, and I it's no fun to have sore ears. It's stuck. All right, Lois, are you in on the um, the green, purple, blue, red pair of earrings? If so, perfect. Lois, you can. Blue, red, green. I got you. Thank you. Those are super lightweight. So it looks like I'm I'm down to some random necklaces that I still need to untangle a little bit, but we have a few that are coming out. I'll put these pieces over here. They don't match anything. All right. M is that for I don't know. Is that Monet? Hi, Dusty Moose. Welcome. It has a, a chain and it goes down to a floral with the rhinestones in the center. Oh, it's missing something that's supposed to be dangling from it. Don't have any dangles. Not just hanging out. So we'll set that one aside. I don't think it's supposed to be the feathers. <laughs> that would make a different combination. It's a bummer. Okay. Ooh, this is neat. This is a Coisonet style bangle. It's really narrow. This would be a $3 start. It's a floral design. Looks like a burgundy or brown background with turquoise flowers and green leaves. And it looks like the pattern is both on the inside and the outside of this bangle. Let's see, yeah, that's not gonna fit my wrist. And I'm not going to try on that one. See the floral on it. Turquoise greens, and I think it's it looks pretty burgundy. These are more my style, stretchy ones. <clears throat> then I don't break them. This one I can't even get over my, my knuckles. Okay. 
This would be a choice for three dollars. It's got like filigree beads with rhinestone spacers and it's on an elastic band. See that one just went right over. Gold tone with rhinestones. That one is just about four inches across, but it's got some, a lot of room in it with that elastic band. Well, hey, Jeremy, how are you doing tonight? You found me on a jewelry bag night. I was looking for stuff for putting in my booth and found some jewelry bags. And that's what we're working on going through tonight. Okay, next up, it's a nine and a half inch drop, little gold chain with a tiny little, oh, Lois was in on that last one, got you. A little green agate or green stone, but it's just a nine and a half inch. It's, it's very, it's very short. That would be a $2 start on that necklace. So, Lois, take you on the filigree bracelet. There we go. Thank you, Lois. And then I have Delaney. This is just teeny tiny little stone. I would say it is, yeah, it's a half inch. This is just a half inch little stone pendant. Almost be good for a kid size almost. So Delaney. Got you. Thank you so much. Over there. Perfect. Let's see what else has untangled itself. That one doesn't have anything on it. It's just a chain. Oh, imagine that. Another watch. The gold tone. Bracelet watch. Oh, I found a match to an earring. These are a gold tone hoop. And they are a large hoop. Two dollars. They're like round and go to a flat in the middle right here. So they're round on each end and are flat. They are about that big, which is about a two inch hoop. And I'm not seeing any marks on them, but they have the um they have that kind of clasp where the wire just goes right down, goes right between there and locks in like that. Those are $2 for the gold hoops. It was nice to find another pair. Oh, these might be, oh, I found the pearl for that other pin. We can repair it or I can offer it as is and you, someone else can repair it. I'm going to put it in there and offer it as $2. It's a bow with a black enamel gold background with those pearls. And I have all three of the pearls in there. Lois, are you on the gold hoops? Because I just told you the same price on this bow pin. Let me know if you're on the earrings or the pin, Lois. I want to refresh just because that lag is something else. And then I'm guessing that Delaney is in on the pin at two. But we'll wait for clarification. Delaney's in on the pin, perfect. We're, I was going to start at two, Paula, because of the um, 
the pearls needing to be repaired, but I found all three of them. And Lois, were you on the gold hoops? I'm going to put you, I'm going to put them in your pile. And if that's not what you want, you let me know. And I'll write this one for Delaney. Thank you, Delaney. Wonderful. Thank you. Bow with pearls. Perfect. Thank you so much. That works. This one doesn't want to come apart. This one is um, a rhinestone bead or a faceted bead with a hook clasp. That would be $2 start. Did I get my hair cut again? Um, no. Last week, Tuesday, I got my hair cut. Unless you missed that. They're like the Aurora Borealis style beads. So two different shapes, the round and then the more oval or squat little shape. Lag, lag, lag. I know, but that's okay. We're getting it done. Seven and a half inch drop. That would be, oh yeah, that's a choker. That would not be happy on me. Nope. I don't like those tight necklaces, but seven and a half inch drop. $2 on that one. No worries. That's all right. I just can't with it once it's, well, it's supposed to be starting to get warm. It hasn't been warm, but I can't stand it on my neck, on my face, on my ears. It just gets too hot. So. I get it cut often enough that won't bug me. All right. Oh, now they're coming apart. This is one of those, um, oh, kind of like a snake chain. It's a really tight coil. And it has, it's a silver tone. All right, hold still so everybody can see you. A little snowflake charm. That's a $2 start. All right, Lois. You're gonna have to tell me what that last one was for. And or we're gonna need to get you to refresh because it is lagging like something else. Almost 11 inches drop. It does have a little kink in it. Let's see, can we? Just pull that out. It's still got a little bit of a bend there. That's the back side. And there is the rhinestone. Who so wants to, to focus on my face? There we go. I don't see any marks on it. All right, let's see if we can catch up with Miss Lois. So we do. Dax had the pin. Yep, those both were clean. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I think Paula put them in as two dollars so I'll take you at two how's that and for the snowflake okay so this is the a b bead necklace at two for Lois Hold that. There we go. And then the snowflake. Two on the snowflake. Perfect. Thank you.
got it. All right, let's see what else. I was just untangled this one. It has a chain with pearls, kind of a dark metal. Might have a little bit of patina on that. That'd be $2, it's a nine inch drop. Again, that's like a choker style, but it does have like a three inch um, extender on it. So that would be two. Wow, everything's just all of a sudden coming apart. It's amazing. That does not have anything on it. That's just a chain. Okay. That. This, I'm missing one. I had an ear. There's an earring that matches the necklace, but there's only one earring. That's a bummer. Another plain chain with nothing on it. Oh, we could, we're gonna put this up together because it looks like this would have had a dangle on it. I'm gonna make this $3. It's a stone, excuse me, a shell flower. And it looks like it would have had a dangle on it. So we'll put it with the one earring and it could be put together and you can all the, Make it make it however you want. It does have a little extender, has the pearl style beads. And again, I think it's a shorter one. Yeah, that's nine inches, which is like a choker style to me. And then this would, you can make it hang a little bit longer as a pendant. And I'm gonna offer them together as $3. Here. Let's see. Oh, wow, that's different. We're close to the end of this bag. I have a couple more necklaces. There'll be choice. Oh, man. Let's find the end of this. This is multiple strands. How does it connect, though? It's like a puzzle. There's where it connects. All right. So it has a small chain, the pearl chain. A bigger chain, five different ones total. It's a three dollar one. It has a total drop of almost eighteen inches with all those layers, and it has a little bit of an extender on it, but no marking on it. Let's see where it would extend. Yeah, this is a big over the head with lots of, lots of layers. And they're all, there we go. This is two strands. And these are, I believe they're shells. They're like a flat disc that's been dyed in turquoises with seed beads in between, two strands. Um, the first strand drops at 16 and the second about 20 inches. So super long, all the way down there, $3. And this is a chain of chains. Like each chain makes its own loop. And that is a, that's a big statement piece right there. It is 17 inch drop. And I don't see any, um, that's a $3 choice, but I don't see any markings or anything on that. And it will be a gold tone as well. Like a Mr. T necklace, it's heavy. 
And the last couple choices for pins out of this bag. I know Paula is, I'm not, I'm going super fast. I have a dove with an olive branch. That's a newer one. It says something on it. Let's see, what does it say? It says ballet, B-A-L-L-E-T, right there. That would be a $2 start on the Dove pin. And we have a moon with a sun on its cheek. It's a gold tone. And it is two and a half inches tall, basically. Also has that rollover clasp. I'm not seeing any mark on the back. Nope, no mark on that one. All right, I see Delaney in first. And Lois, I'm, I'm, let me know if you're both on the same item or not. Delaney's in on the moon. And Lois, were you in on the moon or the dove? I do two on the moon, unless both of you are interested in it. And Lois is in on the dove. Perfect. Moon. The two and Lois. Ooh, I can spell. And on the dove. A two. There we go. You go there. You go here. Got it. Thank you so much. Now I have a pendant watch that my fingers are getting from the chains and stuff. Looking kind of icky. It has a clasp that opens up right here to go over a chain or a necklace of some sort. But again, it's not currently running. Would be $3 to start. What does it say on it? It says, it says Becky can't see anymore. That's what it says. It's kind of I can read the quartz, but I can't read the other part. I know. Why I can't read that, I don't know. That would be a $3 start. Gold tone. And... Is, yeah. Oh, oh. But, okay, quick question. Um... Delaney, these match the pin. These are the earrings that match the pin that have the loose pearls. Would you be interested in the earrings also for $2? They're in a bag, but I don't think it's anything original or anything. Oh, it might be. It's got a code on it. Yes. Cool. Thank you. Then I'll show this one. I have a red enamel leaf with rhinestones. It's on a Monet card, but I will take it off and see if it is actually a Monet. And um, this would be a $3 start. Because who knows if they put it on a card or if they just, or if it stayed on the card. Let's see what it looks like on the back side. Got the rollover clasp, gold tone, and I don't see any marks on it. It's a pretty, it's a nice bat, nice and smooth finish. And there's the, the leaf. So I guess. Your guess is as good as mine. It'll be a $3 start.
I don't know if it's a Monet. If it came on a Monet card. Don't know. And the last one that was in here is another rhinestone style. This is definitely newer. It has a, a, a lighter gold tone back. Could be, yeah, could possibly be one. It's got the rollover clasp. And $3 on this one. Kind of looks like a snowflake again. Almost like a heart on the filigree. It's about two inches across, and the leaf is just about two inches as well. Those were the last two in this bag. All right. I have another bag, but that's up to you guys. If you're re if you want to keep going, keep looking. I have another bag full. What do y'all oh, what do y'all think? How are you doing, Miss Paula? It's getting late in your neck of the woods. I think Jeff was calling it heading to bed. But he gets up early, so I think it's got a bunch of lapel pins in this one. Okay. That's what I kind of figured, Miss Paula. What I will do is I will go through this one and just kind of pick out what I think is good because it's got a lot of little ones, like the little red dress. There, there are a lot of the newer, like lapel pin style ones. I don't know what that's even for, quite honestly. You got to get up at five. Oh, Miss Paula, better you than me. And I'll just go ahead and, oh, Ramola is on that. Okay. The leaf and the snowflake. Got it. Well, I mean, <laughs> okay, Ramola. So three times two for the leaf and the snowflake. Gotcha, Ramola. We'll take those two for you. And here's your pile. Perfect. I mean, we can carry on without Miss Paula, but it looks like a lot of newer stuff in this one. I might be better if I kind of sort it out because, I mean, I don't even know what this is. Ripple? There's a whole bunch of them that say that. I don't know if it's a brand or what it is. And a lot of new things. So I should kind of sort it out and um, then it'll be a little bit better way to um, let you know what it is because it looks like a lot of newer stuff. Yeah, because this is like that plastic. You guys remember that? That plastic uh, stuff that you would melt and make into art and everything. So you'll take the lapel watch for three. Uh, lapel watch. Was that... Did you mean this, Lois? Lapel. Did you mean pendant? Oh. Okay. Let me look for it. This one. heart oh okay delaney i see you and you meant that one okay i'm mixing them together let me find it back because i just set it down but i know what you mean now okay so the heart this one you wanted for the heart and then lois meant yes to that um pendant watch all right cool all right nice well i mean thank you all i appreciate it we made it through. 
a lot of jewelry, which is kind of fun. I love being able to just sort through the bags with you guys, but it is a long process. So um, maybe I'll get a head start on this one. Pick out the really good stuff. See what we can find in it. And I have you down for this one, Delaney. Um, the heart, too. All right. And I'll put you there. And I have to find that. I will find that. Send it watch back because I set it down and then I moved something and it went over it so all right cool who's Kristen how are you doing tonight good to see you thank you Miss Paula have a good night sleep well don't get up too early if you don't have to hi May how are you doing tonight we are pretty much calling it a night for um, going through some jewelry bags tonight I'm going to go through this last one that I just started dumping out and I will re I will uh, pick out the good stuff and take out some of this really new stuff. You know, this one says volunteers or little tie tack ones and um, I'll get it all sorted and we'll have it ready for another time. So I think we're, that's what we'll call it. I don't want to make, I don't want to get that mixed up with what we already went through. So I'll keep it here in a little bit of a pile. I will be working on invoices um, probably, well, some of it will be tomorrow. I will be waiting around for the tree people a little bit while they work and um, hopefully get that limb taken care of tomorrow. And, you know, it's the beginning of the month, all the meetings of the lodge again and all things and stuff just start all over again at the beginning of the month. So Oh, Kristen, I hope you get a little bit of a break. Good night, Carol. Thank you so much for popping in and watching tonight. Yeah, it was fun meeting up with you this weekend. I appreciate it. That was good. So I think we've decided it's just as easy as a good stopping point for tonight. I will put this in a bag and put it to the side so that I don't mix it in with what we've already looked at. And we'll find some new stuff for next time. And um, I will be looking for stuff that's going out to the booth and going through some more boxes that I've brought from moms. So hopefully I'll be bringing some more stuff that hasn't been out before. And I also have a sale with Miss Trisha coming up on Saturday on Sandy and Otto. So good night, everybody, and I'll see you soon and in the chats. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.